Welcome to Electron Online. Now for our third example of how to use the completion of the square method to factor a trinomial, notice that here it's not going to go quite as easy, but we can still systematically follow the same technique to come to the final result, a factored form of our trinomial. So again, we're going to take the number 28 and move it to the right to make space. So we have a x squared plus 11x and plus 28. The next step is to take half the middle term and square it, but since the middle term is an odd number, when we take half of that, we end up with a fraction that cannot be reduced to a single number. But don't let that scare you. We can still use the very same technique. So we go plus the quantity 11 over 2 squared, half the middle term squared. Of course, when we add it, we must also at the same time subtract it. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and factor this form. So this can now be written as x plus 11 over 2 quantity squared. And over here, we end up with plus 28 and then minus 121 over 4. Now we need to somehow combine these two numbers by finding the lowest common denominator. So this can be written as x plus 11 over 2 squared. And then plus 28 over 4 can be written as, let's see, that looks like 112 over 4 minus 121 over 4, which can then be combined to be x plus 11 over 2 quantity squared. That would be minus 9 over 4. And of course, 9 over 4 can be written as 3 over 2 quantity squared. So this is equal to x plus 11 over 2 squared minus the quantity 3 over 2 squared. Now you realize that you have the difference of squares, which can, which can be factored as follows. So this is equal to x plus 11 over 2 minus 3 over 2 multiplied times x plus 11 over 2 plus 3 over 2. And then let's finish over here. Then, of course, we combine like terms. So this is written as x 11 minus 3 is plus 8 over 2. Whoop, that should be a 2 right here. Multiplied times x plus 14 over 2. Of course, you don't want to leave it as a fraction, so you can simplify that. So this is written as x plus 4 times x plus 7. And then quickly, if you want to see if you got the right result, 4 times 7 does indeed give you 28, and 4 plus 7 does indeed give you 11. So it looks like we did get the right answer in a roundabout way, using the completion of the square method, but it did work, and we got the right result. And that is how it's done.